Hi everybody, welcome to Good Dog Grooming. My name is Colleen, this is Bender, and we are going to show you how I shave a schnauzer's ear. So I'm just using Bender as a demo dog because you'd be surprised how similar all dogs' ears are. I like to use my five-in-one clippers for this job because I use many different lengths during the process. First of all, on the top of a schnauzer's head, I like to use my number nine, which is the longest setting on my five-in-one blade. And that is, assuming I'm doing a schnauzer pattern on the body, sometimes I do a seven blade and sometimes I do a 10 blade. And in either case, I still like to use the number nine on top of the head going with the grain. So I'm not even gonna turn the clippers on, I'm just gonna show you that I'm gonna be shaving here and here and back here and you'll see a real demo after this explanation. Now on the upper part of the ear I actually like to click over to a 15 and that's going to sound short to some people but I find that it works really really well to get a nice clean looking ear. And again I go with the grain and I like to just go with the grain and get the bulk off the top and when I get to these edges, good boy Bender, <laughs> When I get to these edges, I do my best to, to keep this part of the blade parallel to the edge of the ear. Because if you turn perpendicular, you run the risk of the flap going in between the teeth and getting cut by the cutting blade that's moving back and forth. Now the tricky parts are right here, so I actually do sometimes push my finger behind it to get it a little bit smoother right there. And you also have to be aware of this kooky flap that all dogs have on their ear because that's another very, very easy thing to cut. When it's time to move to the middle, I usually shave out the inner part with my five and one set on a 30, which is one away from the shortest, which is a 40. So I clean that out and I pluck the ears on a schnauzer. Now I have a separate video, I'll link it right down below in the description, showing how to shave this part of a dog's ear. So once you do that properly, you can then, on a schnauzer's ear, since the whole thing is getting shaved, you can then work your way up the rest of it, just like you did on the top, only it's now on the inside. And you just have to, again, be very careful on this flap and go out, out, out. Now, I sometimes do a lot of that still with my clippers on the 30, but I will also click it over to the 15 for this outer part. So basically like this outer part and this whole top I do on a 15. And a lot of times I find that I need to go back into this area right here once some of the bulky hair is out of my way and I can see better with either my nine or my 15, again with the grain and clean some of this up because it's very risky to kind of come in a weird direction and accidentally cut this ear with your clippers. And so that's why it's easier to do really a good clean job after you've cleared away some of the bulk and you can actually see where the flaps are. And so you can kind of get the bulk out and then come in and be a little more precise. Quick review, I like to do nine on top of the head, 15 on top of the ear, kind of like manipulate the ear a bit to clean really where it's the ear connects to the head. I do a 30 right close in here, close to the ear canal, and I pluck a schnauzer's ears as well. But I have that separate video on how to shave this part of a dog's ear linked in the description. And then I either continue my 30 for this inner part, or I sometimes switch back to my 15 again. It's kind of similar result. Now, how do you edge the ear. Well, there's a little bit of a debate over whether you should use shears to edge a schnauzer's ears or whether to click your five in one clippers over to your 30 and use it like this and knock the fur, the edge fur into your thumb, just like that. And like this. I've heard a debate over which one is the right one and which one is more dangerous and which one is less dangerous. But I will tell you that I do the edging with my clippers 
just like this. I knock it off, and I knock it off, and over here, I come and I knock it off. I find different ways to manipulate the leather, and I knock it off like that. And I've had a groomer argue with me that shears are much, much safer to just cut. But honestly, I found that riskier personally. So it may be personal preference. I don't know what the best practices are supposed to be, but that is what I do. The last thing I wanna mention about that method of edging the ears is that if the dog happens to have a scar, like let's say, you know, they've got like a little bite taken out of their ear. Well, if you were using your scissors to edge, you could sort of hide that somewhat visually. But if you take your clippers and buzz along the edge, you're gonna reveal that scar. So that's kind of a rare case where a scissors edging would be preferred by me, but otherwise, I prefer the clippers. Good boy, Bender.
talking about how I shave a schnauzer's ear. Okay, Fender, can you not do that, please? 